<laughs> but I want to take you upstairs to your master rooms. I've had a little sticky beak up there. And whilst it is beautiful, looking at your mattress, the husband tells them that you haven't replaced <laughs> that one for a little while, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, do you know that your mattress is double in weight every 10 years? Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah that's a gross out fact. So do you want to follow me or go upstairs? Yeah, let's There's go. There's someone I want you to meet. You can come too, Danny. Follow me. Oh, thanks, guys. Well, Erin, meet Dr. Michaela. Now, Dr. Michaela is just randomly in your bedroom. Have a look around. <laughs> Beautiful home you've got here. I've had a bit of a look around. Thank you very here. much. <laughs> now we've got Danny as locked down in Melbourne, who's in stage four. Danny, meet Dr. Michaela. Hi, Dr. Michaela. Thank Hi, you Danny. so much for joining us today. But on this show, we take very seriously things like asthma, allergies, and other conditions that can be triggered from things inside the home that we may not actually realise are triggers. Yeah, I know, that's right. And quite often things are undiagnosed. But you know, you're saying that uh, one of your youngest kids, he's kind of got sniffles and bits and pieces quite often, but he's, he's undiagnosed, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. What do you think, Dr. Michaela? I mean, asthma is a big problem, it's growing. Yeah, asthma is a huge problem in Australia. I think it's estimated that about one in nine people in Australia actually suffer from asthma. So in real numbers, that's about 2.7 million people. So that's a huge, huge number. And one of the biggest issues in terms of triggering asthma is dust mite. Uh. Now, 85% of people that have asthma are actually triggered by dust mite. Mattresses, this piece of furniture that we all love and spend so much of our life in um, are one of the biggest reservoirs for dust mites. So at any point in time, a single mattress could contain anywhere from 100,000 up to 10 million dust mites. How does that make oh. you feel, Erin? Oh gosh. Are you a little bit itchy? <laughs> Just thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> what, is that, what is that like for someone that actually has to live with, with asthma? So it can be quite debilitating. So there are lots of different triggers as we've spoken about dust mites and as you said, pet furs, moulds is another big one. And what happens when it triggers an asthma response, so their airways narrow, they get super sensitive and almost go into spasm. And what that creates is shortness of breath, a tightness in the chest, a cough, and then that wheezing sound that anyone that's had a, a child or a family member with asthma, I'm sure you'll never forget. It can be quite frightening. Well, Erin, <laughs> when was the last time you changed your mattress? Uh, it's been a while. How many, are we talking like a 10 year gap? It'd be close to it, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll just go off, no worries. Um, well, how about we kind of strip this mattress back? I think we're gonna get rid of this old mattress and we should bring in a new one. You gonna give me a hand, you two? Sounds like you a got plan. Your muscles. Sounds good. I have got my muscles. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. You relax, Danny. We've got this, okay? All I've right, got no my worries. coffee. Don't worry. So, any ideas what we're doing? No, we're not building a fish tank <laughs> with jellyfish in there. Oh, Erin, damn. any clues? <laughs> oh, I don't know, maybe a quilt or something. Oh, it could be. You and I both know what this is, don't we? We do, we do. So, inside here is the, I guess, next revolution when it comes to mattresses. Oh. The foam that they use and the way that these are made, all in Australia, by the way, okay. So they're engineered to help reduce those triggers for asthma and eczema. It's gonna change your life. And it's incredibly comfy as well. Sounds good. Do you believe me? <laughs> so Danny, oh, it's pretty comfy to be honest. Oh, it looks really comfy world. I'm just a little bit jealous, I think, of your uh, chilling down on the, uh, the brand new mattress. It looks amazing, guys. You're gonna love it. And one of the best parts about the jellyfish mattress is that the foam actually prevents the growth of fungi bacteria and it also helps do stop dust mites from breeding. So it's basically working to eliminate all of those different triggers for asthma, allergies and eczema from the home. There's definitely no dust mites in here. I'm having a look. <laughs> They're all on top of you now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's some fabulous antimicrobial technology in there, which, as Danny said, prevents all of those fungi and dust and mould from growing in there, which is so, so important in anyone that suffers from allergies or asthma. Uh, now, well, I've actually had a bit of a Google and I've managed to find the website and it looks really, really good. And one of the best things is you can actually buy online. So for all of, all of the people in Victoria, right now in lockdown that is the best thing it's jellyfishmattress.com.au so be sure to check them out sounds good well dr michaela thank you very much indeed for all your advice today i definitely feel a little bit itchy 
<laughs> me, too, me too, don't worry, don't yeah. worry. Thanks for having me on. No problems. Erin, impressed? Yes, no, it looks fantastic. It is. Nice new mattress. I just can't believe that it came out of that box. <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with plenty more Healthy Homes Australia in just a few moments. Now, guys, I've got some really important TV stuff to do downstairs, so I'll let you guys make the bed. All right, linen's over there, you know what it is. <laughs> we'll be back soon.